la la I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Two in the Stink. How about that intro, huh? Donnie. Give it up for Donnie. Shout out to Donnie. It's our new thing. We're uh, rotating. Love, hold on. I love Donnie. Yeah. Donnie's the best. You said what? You said he sends you messages. Yeah, he texts me sometimes. He's a good guy. Okay. And uh, I love him. Okay. Okay. Is that all you want to say about the messages? Yeah. Okay. Because yep. you said something different to me before we started recording. What did I say? You said oh. he, te- he texts me. He's like, he texts me how he yeah. loves me. Yeah, he he does. He loves me more than Rob Stan. I Well, I mean, yeah, but that's going to be a t-shirt eventually. Yeah. It's an ongoing joke. It's such a funny joke. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Where people are like, we love you, Jim, and Rob's cool, too. It's like, ha, 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 ha. This is really good for my mental health. <laughs> yeah, it's really good for Rob's mental health. Yeah, this makes me feel good. <laughs> I'm like, ha, 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 but... <laughs> now, he'll send me stuff and be like, send this to Rob. He doesn't answer my messages. I'm oh, like, really? No way. Yeah. No, I didn't see it. Yeah. I, I check my fucking DMs so all the time. you have to check for Donnie. Donnie, okay. Because he's like, send this to Rob. He doesn't answer me. I'm like, I do. I'm pretty sure I do. I'm like, I, I, check val- all- I'm like I value you. I check all my message requests unless they're like... I, val- I value you entirely. Donnie. Okay, I'll have to look my DMs. Yeah, Rob's not loyal. Sorry, I'm like... Rob's too popular. That's not true at all. Rob Rob is what they would call in the industry unreachable. That's not true. Rob's just because Just because I hit 100,000 followers. Rob, Rob, Rob and I, one time, Chris Rock got out of an Escalade in, like, literally in front of the two of us, and like from that moment on, we were both like acting different. Yeah. We are like, yeah, we like know Chris Rock. It's fine. So. Yeah, Chris got out of the Escalade. You go, look, and I turn, it's Chris Rock right there. Somebody goes, Chris, can I get a picture? I'm with my I'm mother. With my, I'm with my mother. We I'm with my mother. Why didn't he warn, warn? Why didn't we warn him that he was about to get slapped? It was yeah. before that. We should have been like, Chris, listen, Will Smith is going to slap Chris, the shit out of you. Chris, Will Smith's gay. Yeah, <laughs> that was like that's like nine. Did Will Smith too. make a movie after that, or is he blackballed? He's uh, he's just been making like TikToks. Of like what? I don't know. Fuck. It's not good. None of it's None good. None of it's good. None of it's good. It's time for Will Smith to die. Sure. He's he's done. I mean, do you bounce back from being... I actually a, love Will Smith. Take that back. Do you bounce back from being such a fucking faggot like I, that? Have you ever seen Wild, we- Wild Wild West? Yeah. It's a great movie. It's okay. It's actually really good. It's not really nearly good. as good as I Am Legend at all. Um, I would argue. Not, that That's crazy. That's I would argue they're argument. both pretty good. And neither of them are as good as I, Robot, or Men in Black. I, Robot... Mm-hmm. Robin Williams is a robot. Oh, I'm gonna slit my wrist. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I masturbate. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill myself in my closet. Oh, oh. I have Parkinson's. Is uh, that what he had? No, right? that's that's a uh, fucking. No, he found out he had Parkinson's, right? And he that's why he killed himself. Oh, did he? No, I, that's sure? why. Yeah, I thought he was just sad. No, he found out that he was dying of something and then killed himself. Oh, oh, that sucks. Oh, it looks that's like even my, sadder. Looks like my body's gonna start to forget how to work. Oh, I guess I'll kill myself. Huh? <laughs> Okay, well, we're off to a hot start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought he was just sad. No, I think he fe- got diagnosed with something and killed himself. Why well, does that make me feel better? Well, it's smarter. It's like he had a reason. It's smarter. Yeah, he's like, I'm out of here. Yeah, I'd rather die now than, than ha- like, f- you know, my entire body falls apart and then right. I forget how to swallow. Yeah. And then I forget how to breathe. Take notes, Bruce Willis. Oh, poor Bruce Willis. I know. <sighs> Sucks. That sucks, dude. He's talk about dying hard. Talk about <laughs> <laughs> talk about a hard death. Am he I is right? an old guy. He probably hasn't been hard in years. Talk about dying a hard death. Yeah. Can't wait people to. I can't wait for people to dig deep through these episodes. And we're like, Bruce Willis should kill himself. It's like it's like me and Bruce Willis like <laughs> at your funeral. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh man, dude. Uh, yeah. We wait, don't we have to say a prayer now? You said I don't know. I thought we had to pray. Wait, for what? St. Rogie's. Oh, yeah. Joe Rogan followed Rob, so now we pray yeah. to St. Rogan. What do you, do you know what Rogies. we say? I don't know. Please. Our Father. Our Father. Who are in podcasts. Yeah. Who, yeah. 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 Hallowed be thy name. Yeah. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah. Um, which and give uh, us on this, earth and as give, it is in Austin. Yeah. Give us this clout. Yeah. Give us this clout, our daily bread. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We forgive those who who bump mics <laughs> against us. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna kill myself. This isn't fun. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? What? <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. I can't pray. No, stop. I can't pray to that motherfucker. No, I love him. Stop. Cut it out. He's a friend of the pod now. He's a friend of the cast. <laughs> friend of the cast, Joe Rogan. <laughs> He's a good friend. 
good so, yeah you guys go way Two back the, yeah, you guys we, go yeah. way back to like him following I was one of the roaches on Fear Factor we're like yeah, cool yeah 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 I was I was the cow intestine <laughs> that they had to fucking yeah. eat okay in today's episode you've got to hug Jim Gillespie you're like hey what's up you're like I quit <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah that was a surprise yeah where my hug at uh, yeah that's you on Fear Factor it's, yeah that's me at anywhere <laughs> My hug at. He followed me, and uh, I didn't realize that somebody else I pointed died. it out. Yeah, that was cool. Someone sent it to you, and we're like, Robbie. They were like, they're like, they're like, what is this? I was like, huh? I was yeah. like, oh wow, cool, what? cool, awesome. What? That's neat. I'm going down to Austin soon. He'd be like, yo, Doing Joe, shit. remember me from you follow me? He's like, I don't run my social media. So I'm like, Blah. cool, oh. nice. Blah. Um, maybe you can get in an ice tub with him. You think so? Yeah. You think that'd help my career. Yeah, I think it would help your career that needs help. Hell yeah. You need your career needs help. I know. I'm struggling. Yeah, you're struggling. I'm a str- I'm a starving artist. I, I want to oh. It's like what about what about it's like okay, what about my career? But you just said it. Yeah, yeah there you go. Uh, <laughs> I watched uh, you eat a handful of pretzels. I'm just kidding. You had the same amount as me you had too. I was trying to make you I was trying to make that burp sound grosser. Can I tell you exaggerate how many pretzels I have? Can I tell you about my new favorite subreddit? Oh yeah, I've been you wanted to, to tell me about it. Yeah. yeah, it's called R slash uh, looks looks maxing. Yeah, it's about people it? trying to maximize like how good they look. Oh my god, they're they're like you because like you know how like in like a video game or something it's like maxing your character. Yeah, it's R slash looks maxing, and it's so all it's already hot people. Yeah, it's already it's people who are hot, and they're like, tell me, am I ugly? Be honest, and it's like a chick with like gigantic tits and a tiny waist and a beautiful face. <laughs> and like all the comments and you're are like, in the comments all, like, I'm like yes you're a demon no all the comments I'll show you you're a pig I'll show you you wanna see some of the I wanna know what your comments are no, no I don't have any comments cause I'm cool looks I'm like I'm too busy getting pussy turns out looks maxing advice this is it um literally that guy's so hot no that was somebody like now people are spoofing they're making like fake pictures of like like, there's real people in it. Hang on, let me find it. Okay, cool. Awesome. Reddit doesn't disconnect to my Wi-Fi. Can you fucking load? All right, I'll just have to take my word for it, because it's like, no. It's like, anytime we try to, like, do something. Anytime like, we try to do anything other than talking about, like, oh, yeah, my wife was sucking my balls. Blah. Here it is. Should I lose weight? It's like the, yes. like. Yes. Well, all the, co- there's four. Yes, four, especially in the tummy. 5,000 things. It says, uh, looks like she just started up her Reddit account. Great marketing tactic to gain some buzz for your future product, if I do say so myself. People are saying attention seeking. There are actual subs for compliments if you need them this bad. It's like, yeah, it's sad. Yeah. Go on r slash looks Which one was you? Which one did you like? I'm all of them. Yeah. I'm all of them. I'm all of them. I'm like, it's my Reddit. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm the girl. Yeah. I go on there. I should post on looks maxing. Uh, yeah. Like, what can I do? They're like, anything. Yeah. What can I do to make myself more attractive? Like literally anything. Literally anything. Um. Yeah. So that's been that's been that's what been what I've been the rabbit hole I've been going down. I R slash like looks maxing. Um. I don't know. What um. Wasn't there something you wanted to talk about? Because I have another story I want to tell. Tell me it. I was gonna tell you the the story about drive the lift my lift experience. Oh yeah, that I get to hear that shit. a third time. Well, they didn't fucking hear it. I'm just gonna stop telling <laughs> you. Shit, okay? Yes, you need to. We actually right. have to stop seeing each other. Yeah, it's true. We have to stop hanging out. That's the, the problem podcast. because there's multiple times where I've been like, oh, let me tell you. You're like, I already heard it, and I'm like, oh yeah, you did. Well, now because I'm supposed to react. Okay, react like okay, just react like you haven't heard the story. Okay, I want to hear your best acting okay. skills. You ready? Yeah. Because Jim has heard the story twice now. Because I called him once when I was when it was, it was while, while it was happening. happening. Instead of instead of just morning. having it happen, he was like, "What is happening?" I'm like, I'm like, "Listen, talk to them." All right, so here's the story. You're gonna love this. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's fourth times a charm. I have no idea. Yeah. Right. You have no idea. I have no idea what happened. Right. And you're tall. Right. You're getting the character. I'm 175 pounds, <laughs> and I all of my dreams come true. Right. Yep. Okay. So this is a true story. So I uh, was driving for Lyft uh, last night, Friday night. Um, and this is already bullshit. Yeah, I, yeah. Like you driving, like you can see above the steering wheel. <laughs> I'm like, where'd you find six phone books? <laughs> okay, all right, cool. Uh, anyway, so then, uh, turns out the story's over. Actually, turns out, <laughs> turns out you don't get a story. No, <laughs> turns out story's over. Turns out podcast is over. Um, yeah. Listen to Close to Hell Pod. Anyway, um, <laughs> I uh, all right. So it's I was funny. I was. Um, 
<laughs> so I it was like eleven o'clock and I was at I I was about I wasn't like about getting ready to finish up driving, but like I was like getting towards the end of the night. And I picked up this like guy at this mansion in like r- like suburban Pennsylvania and he got in my car and I was like, Hey man, how's it going? He was like Phew. Pretty shitty night. My wife wouldn't fuck me, and I'm like, I was trying to bond with him. I was like, I was like, I was like <laughs> it sounds that that's almost like that's almost like the start of like a fake taxi porn. Yeah, it's where true. it's like where it's like I'm like, mm. well, I'll, I could be your wife. Oh, man. hey, what's up? She didn't want to fuck you. I'm like, it's look a, at a you. Bounch, ouch, 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 ouch. Yeah, so like, then I fucked him. That's the story. Yeah, yeah. No, she, so, Rob's like, I'm really flexible. He's like, that's crazy. I like that. That's crazy. I love short, tall, fast guys. Yeah. I'm a short, tall, fast guy. I'm honorary six foot. But so I, so he gets in the car, and I'm like, he's like, oh, my wife wouldn't fuck me. And I was like, yeah, man, same. That's why I'm driving tonight. And it's I drove, literally the start of a gay porn. Yeah, and like I drove... Easy. Okay, so I drove him to his brother's house, and uh, I, I pick up his brother, and I was like, and I was like, where are you guys headed? He's like, oh, we're headed to our cousin's place. He's having a party, and we're going to crash it. I was like, oh, that sounds like fun. He's like, yeah, and then we're going to the strip club after. I was like, damn, that sounds like a lot of fun. They're like, yeah. So we pull up out front of his cousin's house, right? And they, and they go, okay, Rob, hypothetical question for you. How much money would it take for you to hang out with us the rest of the night and drive us around? And I was like, it was like 11 o'clock. I was like, uh, I don't know, like till like 1.30? They're like, yeah, it's like 1.30. I was like, Pff, probably like 100 bucks. And they were like, done. I was like, oh, shit, right? So I get out. So they Venmo me $100. Then they walk me into their cousin's house. There's a bunch of cars outside. I'm like, oh, sick. I'm getting paid to go to a house party. This is awesome. I walk in, and it's an Easter party. It's like there's like kids and shit like running around. There's a bunch of actual children. And then the guy, he goes, hey. And you're, like, and you're not allowed around those. Yeah, I'm like, guys, this is already illegal. Um, so he announces to everybody. He goes, hey, everybody, this is Rob, my Lyft driver. And then he cracks open a White Claw and hands it to me. And then like everybody leaves, and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, and he's like, he's so confused. He's like, he's like, oh, man, it's so weird. Why everybody leave? I'm like, well, you brought your Lyft driver in the house, and you handed him a white claw. So like, I kind of get it, you yeah. know. So then I would have left. Yes. Yeah, so then I hung out with him and his brother and his cousin for a while, and then we all afterwards, like, we all went to the strip club. Uh, shout out to Lou Turks. We went out to Lou Turks. That's a fucking place and a half. Yeah, I went to Lou Turks. And then we get in the parking lot, and he hands me a wad of $1 bills. And I'm like, what's this? He's like, this isn't for you. This is for you to give the strippers. I was like, okay. So we walk in the strip club. He pays my cover charge, right? And I have a wad of $1 bills. And like, we go to the bar. He buys me more drinks. I'm the driver. Keep in mind, still, he's just like getting. He's like feeding me drinks. And right, and you're pr- fully, uh, like fully, like you're getting ready to be killed. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I was, I was ready. I was like, if this is how I go, this is how I go. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to explain to my wife like why my iPhone location says Lou Turks when I told her I was driving for Lyft all night. Mm-hmm. Um, and so then, so all the strippers are walking around and like. They they would not stop harassing me like I like I was just like because I had a, obviously because I had money that's why I had a yeah. stack of ones on the thing and they were like do you want to tip me I was like yeah here you go they're like why are you acting like I'm disgusting I was like you're not and they're like what's your problem and I was like I'm gay and then they were like oh and then they whispered it the one girl whispered in my ear she goes you know I can flip a faggot for a hundred dollars I could flip a faggot I was like you just did congratulations I was like well it's so hot so hot you said that mm-hmm. um. And then, so we hung out for a little bit, <laughs> and then we get back in the car, and he's it's like time to go. I was like, all right, fellas, am I dropping you off? And he goes to his brother. He goes, Venmo, Rob, another $100. And his brother sends me another $100. Now I'm at $200 for these guys. And he goes, all right, let's go get cheesesteaks. And I'm like, sure, fuck it. So we went and got cheesesteaks. He bought me cheesesteaks. And then afterwards, so and then I'm like, okay, now it's like three o'clock in the morning. I'm like, there's nowhere else we can go. Okay. You live my life. You live my dream. Yeah, yeah. A bunch of hot guys driving you around, feeding you. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, yeah. So I, you um, live my actual dream. Yeah. So then, so I'm like, all right, fellas, time to go home. So I take him home, and then he pulls At the out. End of it. It says written by Jim Gillespie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I drop off the. I drop the last guy. I drop off. He pulls out a wad of ones in his pocket from the strip club. He's like, I don't want these. You want them? I was like, yeah. So he hands me the wad of ones, and then he get and then he gets a fifty dollar bill out of his pocket, and then hands that to me. And he's like, he's like, this isn't the last time we're gonna see each other. I'm like, it totally is, but 
see ya. And so I made like 250 bucks in like a, not even like He's going to call you again to like drive Hey, can I get that again? money? Oh, that'd be awesome if he paid me to drive him around again. Yeah, he's like, oh, let's get Rob. Let's see Rob, Rob he's cool. Let's get that Rob. tiny sweaty guy to yeah, drive us around. That, let's get that little girl. <laughs> let's <laughs> yeah. get that little girl with the RAV4. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> that'd be sick if my new job was just driving around hot dudes. Yeah. They were good looking guys. I sent you a picture. Yeah, I know. I said, tell them about me. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like, no, this is my money. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, no. I'm like, tell them about me. Yeah, but your problem is like, you might be funnier than me, but you don't have a car to drive them around. I don't, know if, can't I don't provide. think I'm funnier than you. I don't know. I'm like, I'm don't like, think like that. I don't know. I think you're funny. You I think, think you're funny. You think gay stuff like that. That's how you get AIDS. Oh, no. You think about stuff like That's that. That's how I get paused. Yeah, that's how you get paused. <laughs> Jim Gillespie positive. Yeah, yeah. That night was written by Jim Gillespie. Yeah. It was like insane. So that was my night. How was it the fourth time I told you it? Or third it was time? good because I you you added lines. Oh, did I? Yeah, okay, you I punched it up something. a little bit. You punched it up. Yeah. I may, I may or may not be working it out on stage. So. Oh no! Yeah. I hate that. Why? No, I'm just I'm just I like I, I why? why why I turn it in Fraser. Yeah. Oh, oh why? why? Why, Jimmy? Jim, oh. Now you're Marge Simpson. Oh, Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Bobby. Oh, Bobby. I'm going to come, Bobby. Oh, yeah. That's oh, great. Bobby. Oh, homie. Oh, yeah. Oh, homie. My pussy's so wet, homie. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck. Give me your best, hom- uh, Homer. Marge. 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 Marge, don't Marge. move. Marge, stick out your tongue, Marge. <laughs> <laughs> do <laughs> that's do you think that's what the sound that Homer makes when he comes? Yeah. Do do do. Or do you think it's like the op- in reverse? You told me earlier that you didn't know what cum smelled like. Yeah, because I don't. I'm not gay. Why would I know what cum smells? That's like? That's not a gay thing. I've never tasted my own cum. You know, you've never tasted or smelled it. You've no, never I've never sniffed it? my own cum. After I bust, that's so I'm, cu- that's so interesting to me. Now there was zero curiosity. No, dude. After I bust, you're the only person I know that has never done either of those things. After I bust, I like I have zero interest in what's down there. That's my dick, so- my dick is like, <clears throat> kill me. <laughs> my well, dick's that's like, true. <coughs> that's true. That's true for most dicks. It's but like, like I like you know, not even back in the day, you weren't like no. Oh. No, I wasn't. I had zero interest. Ugh. No, never. Never. I, I sniff my That's balls. That's so crazy. I sniff my balls. That's worse than the smell cum. Really? Yeah, balls are worse. I'm just so fascinated by the fact that you've never smelled it. No, I've never smelled. No, I never smelled it. I'll. I mean, should I? Should I come back with a review? You should. In the next tr- episode? You should smell it next time. Mm. Okay. Because I told you what I think it smells like. Yeah, you said pancake batter. Yeah. I'm like, cool pancakes. Ruined. No, they're not. Every time I eat pancakes, I'm going to think about cum Me now. coming. <laughs> no, not you. Like, Me only. It's going to be like a hotter guy. Yeah, right. You wish. You don't know a hotter guy. <laughs> no, actually, I'm, I'm actually in friends with a bunch of jocks now who so want to pay me to hang out with them. Yeah, so it's, they're, yeah they're, they're going to pay you to be their football. <laughs> I'm like, but... <laughs> they're going to kick you? <laughs> no, I play football with them because I'm fast. Yeah, yeah. They want they want a fast receiver or whatever those guys are called. Yeah, wide receiver. Yeah, wide receiver. Receiver. Yes, yeah, so that would be your name on Grinder. <laughs> Wide receiver? Mm-hmm. No, it's like tall receiver. Mm-hmm. <laughs> tall thin receiver. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. People would see like tight receiver. Yeah, right. People would dude, they see they would see you on Grinder and like black dudes would hit you up and be like they'd be like, What's good, Tamagotchi? Tamagotchi? <laughs> They're like, damn, you fit in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> No, they don't say that. <laughs> they say, they that. say, "Oh, I did the big black dicks up your ass on stage." Yeah, where did the, how did that go? It went. They went crazy. Yeah. You look like you like big black dicks. I did the voice. You look like you like big black dicks up your ass. Up your ass. Yeah. That's so, oh no, thanks. Oh my god. Oh, thank, thank, you. thank you so much. No. Oh, <laughs> that's so funny. I, where, where do you think they are right now? Probably dead. Probably dead. Why? I don't know. Like. I just, I don't know. I'm trying just, to like trap you in like a racism corner. I'm like, why are they dead? Why are they dead? Because I don't know. What's the shelf life on a seven foot tranny? <laughs> oh, like, you know what I mean? Hanging outside of an apartment. What's the shelf life on <laughs> yes. that? I How long know. does that last? Maybe they got their How acting. long does a palm tree live? <laughs> That's what a palm, it was a palm tree. <laughs> maybe like, maybe they got their act together, you know? Maybe no, became- that was their act. That was their final act. Oh, you think so? That was like that was them that peaking. was the final stage. That was their final evolution. That was them peaking. You think that was the end of the rope? Yeah, mm. it was like, 
at first they were probably like a juco like basketball player mm-hmm. like dropped out like learn a trade but also loved like being a booze hound you know what I mean so it was like they fucking yeah. bottomed out and then started bottoming yeah after they bottomed out mm-hmm. and then it's you know you just become a, a beautiful seven foot tall woman hanging outside of my apartment You're just cat calling Jim Gillespie cat calling thick fat white boys <laughs> You look like you like big black kids. Can I say something? Up your ass. Can I say something to you? <laughs> yes, sure. You look like you like big black dicks up your ass. <laughs> and I was like, you did the voice so perfect. And I was like, um, <laughs> no thanks. No, I'm all right. Because like what? <laughs> I was like, uh, how does that actually in their mind? How does that end? Um, you're right. You're so right. Come on up. <laughs> yeah. Ding ding ding. Come on up. It's your lucky day. <laughs> it's your lucky day. You're correct. You think that has ever worked for them? No, I think that if I didn't go inside my apartment, I would have gotten stomp raped. <laughs> have you ever by Shaquille O'Neal? Have you? Ever, is that the only time you've ever been catcalled? Uh, like, I guess does that count as a cat call? I didn't really look at it that way. He, they. She, them, thou, thou, <laughs> that tall. It's thou, thou, <laughs> thou. Yeah, thou said, thou shalt. They called you out on like in big black dicks up your ass, yeah. meaning that maybe they wanted to be one of them. Maybe, maybe they wanted to be one of the maybe. ones. Maybe. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I it's like get, if a hot. Like, I don't get cat called at all. It's like if a ha- if it's like if a, like a hot blonde chick was me. Like, can I tell you something? You look like you want you like pink tongue. All around your balls. Yeah. And be like, oh, you're right. You're like, stop. You're I like, can't. I'm out. full. I'm, yeah, I'm married. I'm married. I just on. want, just once I'd like to be hit on so I could say I'm married, but ne- like, has not happened like once. Her. Has not happened one time. That's because, yeah, well, I mean. Has not happened one time. You don't really put yourself out there like that. You're not No, really- I'm like chill. I'm like really cool. I don't play, I play like, I'm like, sup? You have, the bars that you What's hang up? out with are surrounded by people that know you're married. Um, yeah, but, like, I've gone to, like, other bars. <laughs> I'm not, like, like I've gone to plenty of... Somebody's got to want to hit this. <laughs> Somebody's got to want a piece act, of this. You don't project, like, looking for pussy. Yeah, because I feel like if I do, then I look too, like, eager. I, yeah, yeah, you've I never try, actually had chill. to. You've never actually gone out as an adult looking for pussy. I play it chill. I'm like, what's up? Hey. Hey. I couldn't fuck you. Cause I'm I couldn't fuck you because I'm married. Sorry, but, but like I can, you can look. But like you could like try to fuck me. I can look. One you know, one time I was trying. You can to get, try to fuck me. It's so funny. I was trying to get my friend Tyler uh, laid in Atlantic City when I was like freshly twenty one. That's so funny. You and trying was, to get somebody laid is like the best. Yeah, and I was I was uh, I think I just got engaged or I was about to be engaged with Britt, and uh, it was Tyler, his brother, and me. We were all out in Atlantic City uh, celebrating Tyler's birthday because I think he just turned twenty one or something. Love this guy. And we bumped into these three girls because uh, his brother had like a man bun when those were popular. Like when those were like at its peak, he had a man bun. Mm-hmm. And these three girls, they they run up to him. They go, oh my God, I love your man bun. You guys are like, you guys, we're going to this place. You guys should come, right? Mm-hmm. And like, should we go? And I was like, I was like, yeah, dude, they, they, those girls seemed into you guys, right? So we went to the fucking bar and like there was three girls, right? Two of them were hot. The other one grenade as they yeah. put it not yeah. that i'm like one to judge but like and i was like i i was like guys you you guys talk to the attractive girls and i'll keep the other one busy the rest of the night yeah and i and i and she was and she, she literally blew you she off she literally blew me off yeah I got, she fucking rejected me all night i was like i was like so like yeah i was like so like yeah i was like so like what's so like you're like really cool she's like yeah but like i'm seeing somebody i was like no, you're not. <laughs> like, I'm like, actually, no, you are. Wait, you're show not? me a picture. I'm like, yeah, show me. I'm like, like, show me proof. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like dancing. It sucks because they were like, they were like hooking. They were like making moves with the other girls, and I was like, this is gonna go great. But then I was like striking out with the other one. I you're was like, like, this fucking I was like, sucks. let's trade. Actually, I was like, ask them. I want like her me. actually. Bring them over here. <laughs> I want her actually. Yeah, but then, you cock block both your friends. Yeah. But then you they, start humping both of them. Yeah, that'd be really funny. But then we all struck. Well, I struck out obviously because I was seeing Brit. But they all struck out, and then I fell asleep in the tub at the at the hotel. So that's how my night it's went. So far, you struck out. You're like, I'll take the fucking I'll take, ugly I'll one. I'll take the ugly one. 
yeah. And she nope. was like, literally, go fuck yourself. She was like, ew. Like, literally, ew. <laughs> yeah. Ew might be the worst, like, response. You might as you well can get. just, yeah. Yeah. I ever think one time. You well, kill was, yourself after that one. One time I was hanging out with my buddy, and he was like, uh, my crush had a crush on him. And he was like trying to set me up with her, and I was like, "Who are you texting?" He's like, "Oh, you're, you know, so and so keeps texting me." I was like, "Tell her you're with me." And he said, "I can't talk. I'm with Rob." And then the text he got back after that was "ew," and I was like, "Okay, cool. I'll just die. I'll just take Adderall and be skinny forever." Yeah, I'll just be turns dead. out ah, I'll, I'll just, just be, be dead. Nah, dude. You know what started my eating disorder when I was in high school? <laughs> it's like what started your eating disorder? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go first. Yeah. Um, no, nah, uh, Twilight came out, and uh, I don't have a disorder. I'm just really good. I'm just really good at it. You're just too good at it. I'm just too good. Yeah, I'm. I'm fucking playing on expert. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. You have no. Yeah, you got no saves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No checkpoints. In anyway, that body. yeah. All right. Sorry. You're like anyway, back to you. Yeah, like, back to you. <laughs> being fucking ew. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um. Back to ew. No, I what started my eating disorder was uh. <laughs> it's such a. <laughs> That's such a funny way to start anything. Yeah. Well, because I was, I don't know, like, uh, when Twilight came out, uh, like, everybody was obsessed with Taylor Lautner because he was, like, shredded and, like, hot looking. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I just need to not eat, and then I'll look like him. If I do that, I'll look like Taylor Lautner. Same That's thing with, so fucking insane. As, and then and then I just I just really weak and had uh, uh, panic nightmares because I wasn't eating anything. Well, that's what Taylor Lautner was going through. Yeah. Yeah. I would not eat for like two days straight and I'd go to bed and I would have like vivid dreams of like a little girl haunting my house and like I'm trapped in it. And meanwhile, I just really wanted a bowl of cereal. That was my body telling me, you need Reese's Puffs. Mm-hmm. My body was like, if you don't eat Reese's Puffs, this girl's going to continue to haunt your nightmares. So now I now I eat, now, now I, I eat Reese's Puffs. Now I eat Reese's Puffs, yeah. And like, yeah, keep the demons away. You know what the doctors yeah. say. Yeah. A Reese's Puff a day keeps a scary, spooky girl keeps away. A, keeps a Victorian child away. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, dreams are crazy. What was the last weird dream you had? I, uh... <clears throat> like, there was this guy, Rob, and he was naked, and... <laughs> no. No. Uh, I, uh, I haven't been re- remembering my dreams, like, uh, cause I've been, like, drinking a lot. Does so, that really ha- If you drink too much, do you not remember your dreams? I, and if I get too high. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. So you just never dream then? Because I feel like you're either one of those things. Okay. <laughs> so, when was the last time you went to bed not high or drunk? Uh, like like a week or two ago. Okay. I had a weird dream where I was mean to a woman on a train, and then I couldn't find her to apologize. Oh. It was a weird dream. I woke up like sad, like I was a dick. Yeah. You ever been a dick in your dream and then like have like a deep regret? Didn't I tell you the dream about how I choked somebody in my kitchen? No. I thought I told you about it in the last episode. No. I could have sworn I did. You sure? Yeah. I, I don't know who I told about it. I could have sworn I told... I'm sorry if I told this in the last episode because I'm pretty sure I did. I'm like, well, I don't remember. I had a dream. Oh, oh, did I tell you? Oh, it's when I went to bed super dehydrated. I told you that story, right? No. I drank way too fucking much. I drank Gatorade before I went to bed. Right. You told me this. Yeah. And you're like, you're a dumbass. Gatorade has a bunch of sodium and shit. So I drank way too much. I was super dehydrated, and I was like, I'm going to go to bed, but first I should drink Gatorade because it's going to hydrate me. Instead, I just put a salt bomb in my body <laughs> and dehydrated myself even worse. And I had this dream where I, I had, in the dream, I woke up on the couch, and I was like, and I heard my mom, and I was like, hey, mom, are you there? And she was like, yeah. But then somebody else who I didn't recognize came out around the corner, this like smaller woman. And I was like, hey, who are you? And she's like, oh, I'm friends with your mom. She had this like creepy smile on her face. And I was like, oh, really? What are you doing here? She's like, oh, I'm just helping her clean, like giving me like very like small answers. And in my head, I'm like, this person's not real, but I can't let them know that because then they're going to freak out, right? So I just played along for a minute. I was like, really? What's your name? And I got to like know them for a minute. And I said, you're not real. And they started to scream at me. And I grabbed them by the neck and started choking them. And then their like eyes turned black. And then I woke up. Whoa. Yeah. And now Ooh. you tell me I'm normal. Yeah, did you Google that? No, probably not. Probably not good. I like to Google my dreams after I have Choking, them. having a dream where you're choking a woman mm-hmm. who's friends with your mom, but she's not real. Mm-hmm. Should I talk to somebody? Super. 
Really? Yeah. Ah, that sounds like a lot of work. Uh, they're, sounds you're expensive. Not real. It sounds expensive. I love you're not real. You're not real. She was like, Bleh. I like I like that you know what would happen if you said you're not real. Yeah, I knew it. I was How like, How do you know that? It's like, it's like anytime it's like, anytime I've been in a dream and I've and it's a thing. I I did look this up. Any, if you're in a dream and you're having a vivid dream and you tell people in the dream that like you're like you're they're not real, it all goes nuts. Like they all like they like turn on you. If you like try to deny their reality, I'm scared. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm scared now. Yeah. Did you hear that? What was it go? Yeah, it's like. <laughs> Did, Did you guys hear that? Yeah. I'm scared. I'm scared now. I'm scared now. <laughs> like the girl she literally farting. farted and was like, "Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? I'm scared now. I'm scared now." <laughs> I like that. Um, but yeah, so those are my dreams. If I, if, I, if I take it like if I don't smoke weed, I'll have I'll I'll have dreams and they're like and especially if I just stop smoking weed, they're like mm. crazy as fuck. What's the spookiest dream you've ever had? Uh, do you remember? Uh, no, I really don't. I don't think I remember. I think all my dreams are just like a Victorian child haunting my house. Um, it's it's about as spooky as it gets for me. Or like my dad's taking me fishing, but he forgot the bait. I'm like, we were supposed to hang out. This was supposed to be us hanging out. That is sad. I do. Do you ever, do you have dream? Have you dreamt about your mom at all or no? Since she yeah. died? Yeah. Yeah. You really? Yeah, I have. Was it nice? Was it pleasant? It was, no, it was weird. Oh, uh, what was it? Because, like, uh, there was, like, a moment in the dream where I was like, wait a minute. I was like, I, like, remembered she died. Oh, like, really? And then I, like, woke up. I oh, like, damn. What was she doing in the dream? I don't remember, but I just remember she was we, were, fucking we were all doing something. You know, we're fucking. Yeah. Just like in real life. Yeah, just like in real life. <laughs> yeah. Um, was she was, yeah, she loved greasy guys. Little red dicks was her favorite thing. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> Cut it out. Oh, You're the, like, <laughs> I'm like, well, she's fucking dead, so. <laughs> she's fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not greasy. I'm shiny. Okay. Yeah, dude, I think so. Well, I did see a YouTube comment. It's like, why is the shiny one so red? <laughs> I was like, mm. Yeah, and like the other comment was like, why is the hot one so thin? Yeah, sure. <laughs> They're like talking about the couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Who's the hot one they're sitting on? <laughs> it's literally hot because we're farting. This couch yeah. is like, this couch is like, ugh. I farted through this couch. <laughs> I've like farted through it to the floor. <laughs> Into the depths. Mm-hmm. I don't see any more spiders. I think we killed them all. Yeah, right. Move, cool. move any piece of like <laughs> equipment in here. No, I, if that I look, I think they behind know that fucking box. I think they know their turf now. I think they know it's not safe to come out, bro. We're good. These spiders. If I, like, knocked spiders on that, if I knocked on that corner, yeah, you think they'd all come? I, like, I think they'd all come crawling out. Yeah, I think like two would come out here, and then like like the nieces and nephews would like come out there. <laughs> that's like the that's like recess up there. <laughs> They'd be like, "You rang, yeah, hello." Is the radnophobia? <laughs> Do you are you scared of spiders? Or, or I ain't no? scared of nothing. Do you have any phobias? I don't think I know. No, no phobias. No phobias. Really? No phobias. What's your biggest fear? Rape. Hmm. <laughs> uh, rape. <laughs> what's the, what's the name of that Murder. phobia called? Murder, <laughs> rape and murder. I uh, I'm I've actually I've had the luxury of having my life threatened uh, multiple times, uh, and uh, so I have a little bit of anxiety about being murdered. That's fair. Um, which is cool. So basically, I've been a celebrity for years. Yeah. Um. Yeah, like yeah, you just yeah, you just minus the paparazzi, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, p- p- minus the paparazzi, but plus popcorn chicken. <laughs> it's like okay, yeah, really. paparazzi. Yeah, Papa John's. Papa Johnsy. <laughs> Papa Johnsy. Okay, that maybe that's the name. Yeah, Papa, Papa Johnsy. Papa Johnsy. It's like so stupid. So retarded. Literally, so dumb. So dumb. That's what this has been building up to, Papa Johnsy. Yeah. <laughs> you you drove three wiggers to fucking Oregon Steaks the other day. It's like, yeah, it's like hilarious. Well, yeah, well, you, want, you want to go back to that story? I'm like, yeah, it's like hilarious. They're actually cool. It's like, what are we doing with our lives? It's like crazy. We're on a journey. Comedians live the funniest lives. I'm chasing my dream. You're chasing the bit. Yeah, well, of course. Rob's like, you're doing choose your own adventure. <laughs> In real life. In real life. Yeah, and it's good. The, and the page is about to end, I think. You should have died last night. I should have, but I didn't. 
Oh, on the way to the strip club, one of the dudes had to puke, so I pulled over. They were puking on the side of 95, and there was, like, tractor trailers, like, Vroom. and I was like, this is still better than puking in my car. Mm-hmm. And then the one guy in the front seat was like, ah, this is how we die, huh? I was like, take it back. Take it back. And he was like, what? I'm like, no. I'm like, this definitely is how I die. That would be my luck. I'd get $100 for the first time in a week. I'm like, wow. And then three guys die in your car. (laughs) You're like, how do you clean that up? Yeah. The one guy was a homicide detective. Did I tell you that? Yeah. So it's like, that would have been ironic. You need to stay friends with that guy because that's like awesome. I would love to interview him. Yeah. You think so? I I interviewed him for like... It depends on what he would be willing to share. Well, I interviewed him for like 10 minutes and then he just talked about like, I was like, what's the most fucked up thing you said? He's like, man, children. I was like, all right, you can stop right there. Children. Yeah. yeah, I was like, uh, I was like, you ever go to like counseling? He's like, no, nah, dude. He's like, not my generation. One of those things. He's like, yeah, I don't, we don't go to counseling. That's gotta be a tough job, dude. Homicide, fucking detective. Detective, because you detective. have to get in. Gotta it. figure out, figure out like whose thumb is this? Yeah, and why is it in his nose? Yeah, whose feet are those? Yeah, like you I'm be like, the worst homicide detective. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Rob. So, we're, but where are the feet pictures? <laughs> <laughs> that's actually fucked up that's really funny <laughs> that'd be necrophilia no because they're dead already right no 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 you're just you're just you're just like we gotta figure out where they were walking oh yeah I'm looking for their footprints you're just doing all types of everything with I'm feet like, I'm smelling them <sighs> they went south it's like what all right, everybody. No, I take, know that scent. That's this is a, these were women's socks I need everybody to take their shoes off right now we're mm-hmm. launching a full investigation yeah yeah I walk into an H&M alright everybody shoes off Shoes off. What? Shoes off. Sorry. Homicide Shoes detective. Off. This is a crime scene. Crime scene. No. Everyone line up. Line up. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Oh. Uh. Rob. Uh, they're like, Rob, did you find out? I'm like, shut up. I'm uh. conducting research. Rob, we found the killer uh. already. Rob, we found the mm. Rob, we found the killer. Mm. Like, he no, we don't know that. We don't know that. We don't know that. We don't know that. Shut up. I'll I'll let you know in ten minutes. It's like you're trying to get to like. Yeah, I'm like I'm like uh, no. I put my favorite one at the end of the line. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking mentally ill. Oh, <laughs> uh, what were we talking about? Oh, dude, we went to emo night tonight. That was. Uh, oh yeah, we went to fucking emo night. Emo night at a uh, fat lady brewing. Pretty uh, pretty uh, pretty it much what I expected. Fucking crazy. Pretty it was much, very middle school. It was yeah. We went upstairs and they were blasting like My Chemical Romance, and everybody was standing in the corners of the room. Nobody was dancing. That's the thing. There wasn't enough people there tonight to fill all the corners. Yeah, we were so, talking about how like you have to fill all the corners and then they'll dance in the middle. Yeah, there there's was, nowhere to go. There wasn't any chunky like big titty emo girls. There was no chunky witches yeah, at all. It didn't smell weird in there at all. It was disappointing. Yeah, it smelled like okay. It and smelled that like fine. I was expecting. It like, smelled fine, and that sucked. Yeah, I yeah, dude. Not it didn't smell even a little bit like a zoomies. What do you think the most like emo store is? Uh, Journey. Journey. No. Like, Journeys. No. Zoomies. Not. Hot Topic. Zoomies and it's, it's gotta be Piss, Zoomies. Pax on. Pax on. Maybe. No, it's tough. Like, uh, no, Spencer's. Spencer's. Oh yeah. Spencer's. Like, I remember there was like this fat girl at my high school who like came into school with like a uh, with like a, a penis lollipop from Spencer's and she was mm-hmm. like sucking it in class. I remember the teacher being like, who? "What the fuck is happening?" <laughs> What the fuck? Like, she was like, what? She wanted attention or whatever? Yeah, obviously. she was like, yeah, she was like blowing this popsicle, like this lollipop. It was like shaped like a dick. She was like, ah. And we're all the guys. She got it like, from Spencer's. Were the guys like, whoa? No, well, guys obviously were like, whoa, but like, they were like, whoa, but ew. I remember, they were like, ew, but ha ha ha. I remember when I was eight, I bought my dad an I Heart Boobies shirt from Spencer's. And I thought I crushed Christmas. I was like, everybody might as well just give it up because I just want Christmas. But then he never wore it. Surprisingly, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, I bought him an iHeart Boobies shirt, and I was like, "Get it, cause tits, right, Dad? We like boobs. We're guys." <laughs> he, he was, was like, like "Uh huh," and he got hammered, and my mom yelled at him, and then we went to bed, and then Santa came and brought me uh, everything. Brought me literally everything. I got D twelve World on CD. Oh my god! I was like, "But they say they say bad words," and my mom's like, "It's okay. You just can't say them." Wow. Yeah. I listen to, I would listen to fucking D twelve. My band, my band. These chicks don't even I'm like, Mom, what's head? <laughs> Mom, what's head? 
Mom. Mom, what's head? What's head mean? She's like, um. How do you give it to somebody? <laughs> I have a head. Mom, can you show me how to give head? Mom, yeah. <laughs> Mom, how do you give head? <laughs> Your dad's like, like hell yeah. <laughs> Teach the boy. <laughs> Teach the boy. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> I saw your dad's haircut on his work thing. Oh his man, car. yeah, that was so funny. My dad had a racist haircut. Your dad had the haircut, the anti gym <laughs> is what I call it. I <laughs> went to the barber and asked for the anti gym. Yeah, can I, can I get somebody who hates me? <laughs> you go to a barber shop. Your dad had the had greatest the f- flat top the flat of all top, time. Yeah, holy shit! I remember Dude. one one time my dad uh, he got this really bad speeding ticket. And he like got a crazy flat top before he went to the courtroom. He said, and he, he said, sometimes you look like a cop. They'll like, they'll like be like, hell yeah, and they'll give you a warning. Yeah. And he came back. He's like, told you. I know he got the ticket waived. Because he showed up. They're like, you look racist. You look like a, yeah, a state trooper. Yeah. That's the dude. You're, yeah. My dad. Your dad would be like, yeah, you would not be friends with me and Gray. <laughs> We're like, yeah, Gray's like, like, Gray's like laying on you, like on the couch. Your dad's like, excuse me, what is that? Go get a football right now. Yeah, my Go dad get the football. When my dad got home, if home, he turned into De Niro, huh? What? What is this right here? You in my house? You're in my why fucking is he, house? Why is this guy snuggling with why my is, kid? Why? Why? You, well, you're snuggling with my son. My son. You're just gonna snuggle with my son. Like I'm, I'm right here. Huh? Take that fruit shit. And yeah. Get out of here. Give me your best De Niro face. No, that's like that's like stroke De Niro. No, it's like, it's more like this. This is Meet the Fockers, De Niro. You know? Yeah. You look like De Niro, yeah. <laughs> you I, look look, like, I look like if De Niro had four hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> like, I look like if De Niro ate four chili dogs and <laughs> drank birch beer. You look like De Niro slow. <laughs> like, that's funny. Everybody laughs. I'm like, I press the applause button. I need a soundboard, so every time yeah. I bomb, it's like, ah. You fucking ah. Robert DeQuiro, dude. Okay. That was way better. You're like Robert DiGiorno. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, cool. All right. You're like Robert De Brownies. I don't okay, know. Okay. That's, you know, huh? Yeah. yeah well, listen. Okay. I'm like, you're like gay and dumb. <laughs> yeah. You're right. gay and dumb. You don't I'm have like, a, you don't like, have a job. Ha <laughs> 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 Loser. Gay. Gay loser. Gay loser. <laughs> like, I'm coming so hard right now. Like, you <laughs> yeah. don't understand that. Yeah, yeah, you don't understand. I love gig. this. Love. I love this. Humiliation king. That's a real thing, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I go through. Yeah, that's why you put yourself through such horrible relationships. Yeah, you're like it's good for me. I, no, me... I love it. I love it. Sure, sure you do. I love it. I'm happy. You were gonna call me and tell me some bullshit the other day, but you said you didn't want to. Yeah, no, because I ended up having a really, really good day. Oh, uh, was it traumatic? Uh, yeah, I spoke with my birth mother on the phone. Oh no. Yeah. You don't want to talk about it. There, there's nothing to report. You called me and you're like, "Ah oh, man, some shitty happened." You were gonna t- talk to me about it. No. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Yeah, I super don't. I just yeah, that's what it was. Okay. Um, I had a brief conversation with her on the phone, and it was just it was just the bonkers. It was really all it was. It's just it's just mentally ill, mentally ill shit. Okay. But hey, um, hey, hey, it's okay. This is hey. a safe space. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want hey. to. Hey. This is a safe space. This is a safe. Space. What's your safe space? Uh, my bedroom. Your bedroom? Yeah. Absolutely. I'm like, well, my, where's, mine's my, like, space? Mine's where's like, my safe space? Where I fucking shoot cum. <laughs> where I fucking throw cum like a chimp at the wall. Mine's probably like the 50 yard line. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm a jock. <laughs> yeah. Reminds me. Where's my, reminds where's me my the safe days. space? Where's my safe space? Fucking. What's your dream safe space? You're like my boyfriend's bed. Yeah. Oh, like in my in my husband's study <laughs> in our mansion. Yeah, what are you studying up there? I don't know. Uh, fucking <laughs> like, like like how to cook the the hu- yeah the human anatomy. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm like now you say something. My yeah my sa- my dream safe space is my private island. Your private island. Yeah. Doing not like an Epstein island, obviously. No, more like a, <laughs> more like a fucking, <laughs> like, like total drama island. You know what I mean? I think we, I think people, we should stop like letting people own islands. Has no, anything, has anything I think good, more people should. Has anything good came out of, come out of owning an island? Yeah. Like what? Name, give me one example. Like, um. <laughs> See? Name one good thing that came out of somebody owning a private island. Who the fuck is like who? First of all, who has somebody who has all that money and has all that power? 
wants to buy a secluded property out in like surrounded by water far away from everybody. And we're like, yeah, well, if you got fucking 60 billion dollars, go for it. Well, that's the thing. It's like you, you, you send the rich people to an island. They spend less time on the mainland mm-hmm. popping up shit that doesn't matter. Like, what do you mean? Like, like, would you rather somebody went and spent their time fucking around on an island, or would you rather have them, like, shoveling, like, shitty content down your throat now that they're bored with all their money? I guess. You know what I mean? Like, like just a stupid... I'm talking about, like, morally corrupt stuff. Like... Well, yeah, and th- that, too. They're always doing that. I'd yeah. rather them do that on an island than here. Than near you. Then near me, yeah, fuck it, get him up, get him out of here. Like as long, look, what I'm team, like as acting as if like I couldn't be coerced onto an <laughs> island immediately. Yeah, of course, for nothing. You'd be like, wait a minute, if we, they they got they got drinks there and sand. Wait a second. Are you saying wait a second? You're, I was like, you're cooking pork on a spit. <laughs> like whoa. Yeah, who cares like, about Amanda Bynes? <laughs> me next. Yeah, yeah, Amanda who? Amanda what? Amanda, show me where he touched you because I think you're a liar. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, show me your bank statement, you fucking piece of shit. You're rich. Um. Um. um <laughs> anyway, hard stance on Amanda Bynes. Welcome uh, to the shortest episode. She of... had it coming. Did you see what she was wearing? Oh my god. Drake Bell. He got molested. It was his own fault. Did you see his bowl cut. He looked like the tip of a penis. <laughs> you're on. You're on a different level right now. No, I'm not, dude. No, I'm not. These fucking guys. They complain, but the the check cleared, right? You didn't hesitate to cash the check. Um, you, ch- you cash the check, right? And a morally, <laughs> a morally sound person that actually had some a backbone wouldn't have cashed the check, but they did it. He was like fourteen. Yeah, and and I, I think his parents were the ones cashing the checks. Right. Well, the, the well, yeah, that's the thing. It was well, his like, parents didn't know he was getting diddled. I think they did. You think they knew that? They definitely did. They definitely did because. Uh, they know what the industry is like when they sign their kid up for it. You know, they they fucking they they tell you. They're like, look, this shit is gonna be fucked up. You know what I mean? You're look. <laughs> I know a TV producer walked up to his dad. Is like, look, your kid's hot. Okay, <laughs> they're gonna throw him a lot of ass. But here's the thing: a lot of dick is gonna come his way too. And opportunities don't knock too often. You know what I mean? He's he's a child star, but like he's going to have to stay relevant. He's going to have to suck a little bit of dick. And he's like, well, I don't want that for my son. There's like, here's a check that's $180,000. Here's your house. And they're like, hmm, well. Well, have you ever wanted to pay off the house? It's like, you should well, probably teach that kid with a bull cut to suck some dick. Oh my God. <laughs> you're gonna so, be like in fucking two years you're gonna be like well, I don't know what did I say why am I in trouble what did I say why, why am, am I in trouble so I'm the enemy so I'm the bad I'm guy I'm the enemy because I'm tapped in yeah so I understand it they took it out of, they the took enemy. it out of context yeah it took it out of context they took it out of context. Drake <laughs> Bell was raped and I don't care <laughs> I like his songs I know and I know and I know <laughs> You only fingered me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Drink, I never do, yeah. thought that. Yeah, yeah, so- I didn't think that these fingers would be so thick. <laughs> and now I'm sad. <laughs> and now I'm on live. <laughs> if you open up your yeah. body. I got convicted of child endangerment. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm sad. <laughs> and I was raped. <laughs> If you get accused of rape, claim you were molested. <laughs> it's going to take some time to figure out how to make money off of being... T- I don't know. It's just like really, it's like really <laughs> fucked up. It's really fucked up, and I don't care. I hope every Nickelodeon star dies because I don't watch it anymore. <laughs> Literally, Josh Peck, I hope his head explodes. <laughs> but so he so we can't get him as a guest on the podcast? No, Josh Peck. Oh, Josh Peck? No, he would never be a guest on this podcast. Why not? Because he's too but, hot now. Yeah, but so am I. We're like we would like be a perfect match. When I was in high school, like John Josh Peck was on Vine and like in the Vine there was like a bong on the table and I was like Josh smokes pot. I was like, I don't like that. I was like, I can't look at Josh anymore. Yeah. I was like, this is awful. I was like, he's like Drake and Josh. Should have been called Josh and Drake. Never that. Josh and Drake, yeah. No. Josh wasn't the star. Josh was a complimentary piece. I ain't calling you a truther. I ain't calling you a truther. (laughs) You calling me a liar? Yeah. Jake's Drake and fucking Josh, dude. What was that for? And then they made a show with Megan. It's like, relax. Because you know why? Because they were all fucking molested. Do you think think it goes deeper than what we were told? I'm sure I'm dude, Josh was a fat needy kid. They bought him Ozempic in like two thousand five. 
Yeah. They were giving Josh Peck Ozempic and cocaine. They turned him into an actual chiseled stud. <laughs> he went from the fattest kid on television to being literally a hunk stud in like, t- in like literally a season of a show. Do you think uh, any of those people took like hush money and shit to not talk out about like Dan Schneider and stuff? Dude, I think they're still dishing out hush money. I think yeah. they're covering their bases now. Yeah. yeah, Dan Schneider, dude, he's yeah, he's he was cranking out the hits, but he was fucking, he was getting a handful of some action. Yeah, like, well, you made all that, and um, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, that was literally Amanda Bynes coming. Oh my uh, god! Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it's literally him with her his hand up her ass. Oh my god! <laughs> so fucked up. Is it though? I mean, kinda. <laughs> It's probably can't, true. Can't take all that. Can't <laughs> yeah. take all that. <laughs> oh, oh no! Yeah. What the fuck's that? Yeah, Keenan can't stop filming live TV because he's scared to be alone. He's scared to be at home thinking about himself. <laughs> if Keenan's never spent a night without just being on, yeah, because deep down he's seen so much that he's just like. Thoughts hurt. His thoughts hurt for Keenan. Yeah. That's why he stays so busy. Is that why you hang out with me? No, no. I hang out with you because I need to be with somebody that has a worse drinking problem than me. That's fair. Yeah. Like, that's okay. So you put things into perspective for you? Yeah. I'm like, as long as there's somebody out there that's drinking harder than I am, I'm I'm doing all right. That's fair. (laughs) <laughs> I'm glad it could be a service. Yeah, that's really all it is. I'm glad I'm here to help, you know? Other than that... I'm like, we well, yeah, well, I hang out with you because I need somebody who's a dumber fucking retard <laughs> than I am, so... <laughs> Works out pretty great. I'm it like, does. you think I'm unemployed, Brit? <laughs> wait till you see this guy. I'm like, yeah, wait till you... Hang on, exhibit A. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Exhibit you can, gay. You, yeah, you can take... You can say whatever you want. We both considered drinking that beer that we was did. sitting outside of the brewery. Yeah, we left the brewery and we both had zero dollars and there was two half-empty beers. We were like, is that fucked up if we drink that? We both stood... We paused for way too long and considered drinking like... And we saw Strangers who drank it. Strangers beers. It was an old woman, an old mm-hmm. lady and an old man. And we don't know where their mouths have been in the past 80 years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we almost drank strange beers. We were both there. We were both there. We almost we were in that pack together. How much time were we at? Uh, fifty one minutes. I like that. You like oh, that? Shout out the patrons. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. And plug your dates. Um, well, I want to give a quick shout out. Uh, the next episode part two of this episode is going to be on Patreon. Uh, Patreon dot com slash Two in the Stink Podcast. Uh, we want to thank our top tier supporters: Chris Jin, Mike Fall, Squaw, Miles Schultz, Andrew Herbert, Tim Sislo, uh, Alaska Woods. And our newest uh, top tier supporter, Jordan uh, Dillabo. I think I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Does it look right? Dillabo. Dillabo. Jordan. Jordan Dillabo. Jordan. Jordan. Your putty and your poster. Uh, Jordan. Jordan. Are on the way. We're gonna send them. Uh, we're sending them now. So. Yeah, we have keep fans. An eye out. We have fans in Nashville that are like trying to get us to come out there. Yep. Patreon. Uh, two in the stink. Starts at two dollars a month, and then uh, April seventh, Kazi's Comedy Club, Virginia. Jim will be there. Um, Four twelve, Main House of Comedy. Four thirteen, Blend Comedy, uh, New Hampshire. April twenty sixth, Hyenas, Fort Worth, Texas. Please come to that. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, June fourteenth and fifteenth, Church of Satire in Hanover, PA. Jim will also be there. June eighteenth, I'll be at Zany's in Chicago. Uh, September 7th, I'll be at Commonwealth Sanctuary in Dayton, Kentucky, and I am coming to Denver soon. Jim will probably be there as well. So I know everybody's been asking for... A lot of people have been asking for Denver. Um, soon, I'm waiting to get back the ticket link. So that's going to be soon. Probably I'll probably have the ticket link for Denver up mid-April. Do you have any dates you want to plug? Oh, and then April 19th, Fat Lady Brewing in uh, Maniunk, Philadelphia. We'll have The links are in... Not in my link tree. Are they in yours right now? Yes. Okay, go to Jim's link tree if you want to come. Um... Yeah, April 12th, I'll be at uh, Emmaus Theater in Easton, PA. Oh, that's cool. What are you doing there? Yeah, I'm doing Steve Rinaldi's 7 for 7 show Sick. at Emmaus Theater with uh, my buddy Vince Kowalski. That's going to be a really fun show. That's dope. I've heard good things about that place. Uh, yeah, it's very fun. Um, very cool. I've been there once before. What uh, did you do there before? Uh, I did um, a... Uh, what the fuck is that guy's name that does the shows out there? Tyler? No. Joe Ferraro. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did a head thing with him. Nice. 
Every time I see pictures of that place, it looks packed. Yeah. So, that's going to be fun. Congrats. Yeah, so, and then the Fat Lady Show. And then 420, I've got Funny Money. Um, which is my friend Finessica's show. She's doing a 420 showcase. There's going to be blunts, baddies, and bourbon, and and bussy, now that I'm on the lineup. Yeah. I'm adding bussy to the 420 show, which is going to be crazy. Congrats. The, there's going to be a um, gigantic blunt. It's probably going to be the size of my head. It's gonna yeah. going to be crazy. My buddy Jake is like going to come. It's going to be really cool. Well... Yeah, I haven't I haven't celebrated 420 in forever. Dude, you should do it this year because you kind of can. Uh, I can. Well, yeah, I can, but I don't know. I'm weed, like, weed makes me. me spooky. I'm like, I'm like. Last time my, I got this last, is my Easter. Last time I got high with you, you told me to check my stove and then showed me pictures of biblically accurate angels. Yeah, but that was yeah. You overreacted to that. So you were like traumatized by that. Yeah, because it was like, look at these angels. They were eyeballs with wings. You got mad at me the so other high. day, and then you brought that up. I was like, oh my god, I deeply traumatized this man. It's just it's just my best example. <laughs> My I best deeply example traumatized trauma. this man. Yeah. Um, Go check your, st- your stove is on. Your stove is on. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to see you dig yourself out of that uh, Nickelodeon hole in two years when the, when the like you go, TMZ boom 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 bum bum bum. Jim G- comedian Jim Gillespie like I was out of context. You're like I don't care. They should all die. You're like ah well that's a deep fake from Rob. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just deep faking you saying fucked up shit. Yeah. Jim's not even real, he's AI. Yeah, yeah, they're like, Rob having a friend? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is Stantman, and you're like, you're in a fat suit. I'm just really good at, yeah, I split the middle, so this is like, I'm recording both conversations. Yeah, this is a prop arm behind <laughs> your head. It's like, and like, watch, I'll cut it with a knife right now, it doesn't even bleed. It's cake. <laughs> <laughs> is it cake? Am I cake? <laughs> what if I Are found you? out I was cake? I was like, <laughs> Would you eat yourself? Yeah. You'd be like, hmm. <laughs> taste gay yeah why does it taste gay gake gake <laughs> gake I think I think uh, Papa Johnsy is funnier Papa Johnsy or gake yeah um, Papa Johnsy yeah where were we tonight what the fuck tonight was we did weird. emo night it was so I weird I had four hot dogs got like I got the spins oh, I got like yeah. there was like Percocet in those hot dogs <laughs> Oh yeah, hot dogs are fucking <laughs> junk dogs. I think you're just excited because you spent a dollar on each of them. Yeah, you were like you were high off. You had a fucking discount high. Yeah, I, I got chili. I got chili on a hot dog, <laughs> and I was like, "Boy, this is living. <laughs> Boy, ain't this living?" Yeah, they had dollar dogs at the brewery tonight. I had that is a crazy deal. A dollar for a hot dog is hot that's awesome. I had four that's hot dogs. That's how you get four. That's how you get that's four. How you get four. That's how we get four. That's the only time we'll ever get four hot dogs. Yeah, I, yeah. you thought I was going to go purge. I was like, I had four hot dogs. I was like, I'll be right back. I have to wash my hands. I was, like, like, I was like, yeah, right. You washing your hands? <laughs> like, uh-huh. Yeah, I'm like, oh. No, don't. <laughs> oh, cum. It's cum. I had to. You I need to, to smell your cum. Uh, okay. You're probably going to masturbate tonight, obviously. Brit's yeah, Brit, yeah, I have the house to myself. Of course I'm going to so, shit. So, when you come, smell it and tell me what it smells like. No, I always shoot in the toilet. Yeah, but catch it. Catch a, catch it. Catch a piece. There you go. Give it a <sighs> sniff. You'll be like, that does. No, no what, is... if I div- what if I like it? You won't. Well, like, what if I do? You won't. There's a lot of things I like that I shouldn't okay. like. Okay, okay, okay. Like, like, <laughs> like you. Yeah, like, yeah <laughs> like you. It's so funny. Like if you, you stop talking to me, your life would and credit score would improve. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, you'd probably lose weight. <laughs> my, oh, my credit. <laughs> score your skin would, would clear up. You'd lose weight, and you literally stress. your credit score would go up. Yeah. I have to decide. I have to edit it out. Yeah, you're getting a bald spot, and it's like my fault. It's like a yeah. shape of a J. <laughs> it's just, yeah. It's uh. I don't know. I just. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. I'm, I'm preparing my my statements to the to the press when you get canceled. I didn't I'm like, know he. I'm like I didn't know. Sorry. I mean, look, he said some shit. I'm just. This is this is when I kill myself. Like you're like, no, look, no. He's, he said it on the podcast <laughs> every week, but it was like tongue in cheek. He's just kidding. He doesn't just an ongoing know how to joke. tie a noose. Yeah, he doesn't know how to. I I know he doesn't have a gun. That's why I keep you drunk and high, so you don't want to get out of bed. Yeah. You're like, I got to find a stool. Uh, Uh, I got to find a stool. 
That'll support me. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's such a fucked up joke. We told on stage. The only reason I haven't killed myself is because I've yet to find a stool that can support me. I'm not trying me. to ruin my dad's house. <laughs> yeah. Rip a pipe out. <laughs> <laughs> if we, yeah, you fucking... You do, you I'm more breaks. worried about causing structural damage to their home than I am being alive. <laughs> Your home record joke. It's basically what that is, right? Just a yeah. darker version of yeah, that. This is like a darker version of that that goes in like the secret right before he kills himself. So that. Don't say that. It's like a lot of fun. No. You're going to live forever. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're going to live forever. I'm like, yeah, right. I had cerveza and tamales today. Like, I deserve to die. Cerveza? Like, what yeah. is that? Senoritas, remember? Oh, right, 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 right. Did, You've been there, right? Yeah. So Some Mexican food, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they moved to Ardmore, which mm-hmm. is like the town over from me. Um, And they started making their own beer. And like okay. the lady gave me two of them today. I was like, whoa. Nice. Whoa. Hooked you up. Well, I was like, well, she's like, yeah, you eat here all the time. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, I love tamales. She's like, yeah. She's like, keep coming. I'm like, thanks. You're keeping us in business. She's like, she's like, how you been? She's like, haven't seen you in a while. I'm like, well, here I am. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, you're looking it, at it. Get the plates out here. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, I think that's it for this episode. Uh, we love you. Coming to the Patreon. Patreon, two in the stink. It's 25 minutes long because Jim's (laughs) asleep. We'll see you guys. Uh, Thank you so much for listening. Stank it forward. Share this with your friends. We appreciate you. Happy Easter.